Hi, welcome back to Weave Along with Eloise. I'm Eloise of Finchingfield. Now, if you're new here, and I understand that there's lots of people who are new, I would like to welcome you to my channel. I know a lot of you are probably not experienced weavers and probably don't have an ankle loom sitting at home. If you find yourself loomless in London or ankleless in Iowa, then I have a solution for you to set up a warp weighted loom using ordinary household items. So what you're going to need is two large office clips, a wooden ruler or a dowel. This is eh, something I found on the garage floor. It's about ruler shaped. Tablet weaving cards, either homemade or store-bought. These are the ones that I made out of uh, file folders. Two or three colors of yarn. Now this is the Maysville Carpet Warp, the 8 over 4, that I've used for a number of my projects. You want to choose a light and a dark color so that you have some good contrast. You'll also need a shuttle. Now this is one with a different kind of yarn on it, but it'll do just fine. You could also use a ruler or just your fingers to press down your weft as you go. Then you'll also need something to weight it down. And what I found is these little cotton baggies. I found them on Amazon. They're just little things and you can fill them with any kind of weights you want. And you'll need one for each card. Now the last thing you're gonna to need to do your weaving project is a chair. Now I've chosen this Ikea chair because it has a nice high square back and the threads are not gonna fall off the side. So this is ideal, and you can see that it's been through the ringer, so I'm not worried about scratching it at all. It's covered in paint that bird nibbled on it. It's a craft chair. So let's grab all of those miscellaneous pieces and parts and see if we can cobble ourselves together a workable loom. Oh, and don't forget your tea. So what you need is 100 grams of weight for each card, and you can use anything that you can find around the house. For example, you could try 40 pennies. Perfect. Maybe 39 pennies, 20 nickels, or whatever currency you have laying around the house. You could also use marbles. Unfortunately, I've lost most of mine, so that won't work. You could also use something you find outside, like a handful of gravel, some unused school supplies. I might have to take out a couple crayons, box of staples, or maybe some flooring nails. Just about anything of 100 grams could work. Fishing weights, bottled water, whatever you can fit inside one of those little baggies. Interestingly, a cockatiel also weighs about 100 grams but I don't have 10 of them, thank goodness. Once you get your weights into 100 gram allotments, you will fill up the little baggies and then we'll move on to the next section. chair and I've got all my supplies, I'm going to see if I can set this up. Now there is one shortcut that I did and that is I'm using a project that I had already started some time ago. This is already on some cards. It had been woven on for a little while and then cut off and this was the remaining and I didn't want to waste the yarn so I just set it aside thinking eh, I'll figure out a way to use it eventually. So this is what I'm doing. So since this is already threaded and uh, ready to go, I'm going to throw the warp over the back and face the cards to my right. I'm going to take my either a ruler or a piece of wood, whatever it is that you're using, and put it between the threads. So I can thread it through there. Now I've tied a knot right here at the base. Oh, you know what? This is going to be a pain, so I'm going to... Mm, what am I going to do? I'm going to try to figure out a way to secure those. 
So I'm going to secure those with just a rubber band or elastic or whatever you call them. So that's going to hold the cards together so they don't slither around all over the place, at least for now. I tied an overhand knot here and I'm going to use the office clips and just clip it down onto the chair. Now, if you're worried about scratching your chair, you may want to cover the chair with some fabric or use a couple more little pieces of wood so that you don't end up denting or scratching the wood of your chair. I'm not particularly concerned about this chair because it's been used for so many crafts. It's been chewed on by the bird. It's got paint and marker all over it. Eh, not worried about it. So the next thing you're gonna need are all the weights, the little bags of weights. And we're going to attach those to the warp. I'm gonna separate the warp. Each card gets its own weight. Either you can do this a couple of different ways. You can wrap these up around a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood and then attach the weight to that. Or what I'm gonna do is just tie an overhand knot that can be undone pretty easily. and then I'm going to hang the weight off of that. You take a weight and you attach it to the string. Now you can attach it a couple of different ways. I'm just doing a slip knot over it and it's gonna hold the weight. I'll take the threads off the second card all blue. They're a little tangled up in here. Keep those separate. I'm going to tie an overhand knot. Grab the weight. Put the strings of the weight through this loop and then feed the weight through the loop. Oops, through the loop, there we go. And then it'll just hang. And it'll untwist. I'm gonna take this extra and just tuck it in here. That doesn't tangle. Now I'm ready for the third card. a little bit and you need to advance the warp. Well, this is what my plan is. I'm going to take the clamps off, remove the stick, pull it forward, and then clamp the work directly onto the chair, like so. 
and it works really great. I did notice is that 100 grams might not be enough weight for all of the cards. You could increase it to 150 or even 200 if you have really strong yarn. Um, 100 is adequate, but I think I might want just a little bit more weight to add a little more tension onto my warps. But overall, this worked really well for, you know, find stuff around your house and throw together a loom-like object. So if you're interested in trying some weaving and you have a few of these items at home, I hope you try it. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Bye.